Today we're going to be talking about nursing theory, from novice to expert. We're going to talk about how that relates to the fact that I rarely, if ever, use my pendulum anymore. If this interests you, stick around and let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome to The Wholeness Shift. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning and are already part of the family, welcome back. You know I love you. I talk about easy, practical spirituality and help you navigate your spiritual awakening in as easy, practical a way as possible. So if this interests you, would you take a minute to hit the subscribe button down below? I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. So you're probably wondering, nursing theory? What the heck? What does it have to do with spirituality? Well, let me tell you. So the other night I was uh, having a coaching session with Monica and we were talking about how I rarely use my pendulum anymore. I'm just not called to do it. I don't feel like I need to do it. I'm not as curious about knowing all of the things as I used to be. And I was thinking about the reason why. I was reminded of nursing theory. Now, if you're a nurse or if you've ever been to nursing school, you're very familiar with nursing theory. It's ingrained in you. You have to write papers on it. You, you know what I mean? So nursing theory is written by nursing theorists. They're nurses who have gotten higher degrees. They've received their doctorates or maybe even just their masters, but either way, they are about the study of nursing, the profession of nursing, and they write theories that can help you accomplish things better. They help write theories to help you understand things better. So Dr. Patricia Benner, she is a nurse who wrote a book titled From Novice to Expert, and it's a nursing theory that discusses how in every area of life, but particularly nursing, she's, she's talking about the field of nursing, you move from a stage of being a novice and what that looks and feels like and what you need in that stage, and you move through the scale of learning your profession, learning your skills toward expert. You move from novice to expert. When you are a novice, you're a brand new baby nurse and you rely on book smarts. You rely on the information that you have read, you have retained, you are learning, you, you pull on that. You're not acting from any kind of an instinctual um, experience-based situation or level. You probably always keep like reference charts or um, note cards in your pocket with notes on them, you know, cheat sheets. You, um, have to constantly seek out advice or direction from a mentor or um, people with more experience than you. And that's because you haven't been there long enough to like just be able to innately do your job. It's coming like from your brain or it's coming externally. You're acting very robotic and mechanically in order to accomplish what you need to accomplish. And that's normal. People come right out of the gate going, why do I, why can't I get it? Well, because you're a novice. You're not supposed to get it all yet. But as you go, as you move towards, down the spectrum towards expert, you begin to act more from a gut instinct. That critical thinking kicks in and you know, at this point in the game, like if you've been a nurse for a long time or if you've been a doctor for a long time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you don't even have to look at someone's labs. You don't have to know their medical history to walk in and know that they're actively dying or know that they're, we're in trouble. Like, if you see a nurse starting her shift, she just got report and she goes in and puts eyeballs on this patient and then she goes out and just kind of moves the code cart closer to their room <laughs> because you just have a gut feeling. Or if you go in and they're having a certain set of symptoms, you know instinctually what to do to relieve those symptoms. You know how to behave instinctually 
based on years of experience, based on honing your intuition to these types of situations, etc. You no longer need to know all of the book stuff. You no longer need to reference the cheat sheets. You are now just flowing through life on a gut instinct basis and drawing on previous knowledge and just knowing that everything's fine and if it's not, I'll know it and we'll figure it out. But you don't need all that other stuff and you trust yourself more. You trust yourself more, you trust your team and you just kind of flow. Well, that's really the same thing that I'm talking about with using my pendulum. Now listen, I am by no means an expert in anything. I'm just a person who has experience and is living life and is sharing what I learn as I go. But when I was brand new going through a spiritual awakening, I was hungry for all of the information. I wanted to know about every past life I'd had. I want to know about how the universe works and how many dimensions there are. And I want to know all the details about all the things. And I want it all right now. And I would want to use my pendulum to like check on, is this the right decision to make? Is this the right thing to do? Am I doing things right? What are the name of all my spirit guides? And now it's like, The stuff that I know is good. I'm grateful for that knowledge. Um, I do still use it sometimes, but you know, the more light that you incorporate into your being and the less 3D energy you're holding, your need to control and your need to know just kind of dissipates. It really does lessen. You really are just okay. All is well and all shall be well. And if there's a need that arises, I trust myself and I trust my team to have it handled. I know that I'm here for a reason. I'm going to follow my gut instinct. I'm gonna follow my gut and move through life on an instinctual level, checking in with myself and my intuition going, does this feel right? Yes, no, and adjust accordingly. I no longer have the need to check in multiple times a day just to find out answers or get directions because I know that I'm okay. I know that everything is going to be okay. I know that I'm on the right path because if I weren't on the right path, I would be manifesting yucky things that I don't want. My life would not feel or look good. It wouldn't feel good in my body. See what I'm saying? The higher your energy goes, the more love and light that's in your body the less polarized your thinking will be, the less polarized your outlooks will be because you're holding on to less of that 3D energy like we just talked about. You're going to be more okay if other people have different opinions than you, if they're teaching different things than you. Your gut will tell you to kind of steer clear of them and to stay away from them because they're not in alignment with what you feel is right or what feels right to you. Um, but it's not that you need to go shut them down or anything. It's more of a, mm, I'm going to stay over here type of thing. You know what I'm saying? You aren't as judgmental. You just are way more go with the flow and, um, it'll all be okay. I got a couple questions about this after I did my pendulum series a few months ago. If you haven't seen that yet, go to my main channel and find the pendulum playlist and there's all kinds of good information on there. But after that, I had, you know, because I had mentioned that I don't use my pendulum very often and someone had asked why. So hope this answered your question. If you have any comments or any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Until next time.